Hey guys, Technomentor here today with a video for you guys on how to activate your iPhone 8 with the SIM card setup and to get to the home screen. So this is for, you know, new user or people who haven't used iPhone and want to quickly set up your iPhone or anyone that just wants to see how you quickly set up your iPhone. Here I have an iPhone 8. If you guys are looking to buy an iPhone 8 or any of the newer iPhone, check out the link down below in the description to um, discounted phones that you can get on eBay and Amazon. Um, so here we'll go ahead and set it up. So first thing you do is you want to power it on. The power button on the iPhone 8 is on the side. You want to press until you see kind of the Apple logo appear. So here as you can see the Apple logo has appeared. At the same time what you want to do is insert the SIM. So the SIM card is on the iPhone 8 is on the side. They usually include a SIM ejector tool or you can take a paper clip or a earring piece if you don't have this. Um, so you want to go ahead and press that in um, and gently and it will pop up and then you take your SIM card. Um, the trick here is when you have your SIM card you'll see there's a cut edge. You want to line that up and then place it on top and it should flush it with the SIM tray. And once you have that, you wanna go ahead and insert it back right in, line up it with the hole that you press to get the SIM card out. So once you do that, it will start reading the SIM card for you. Um, so once you do that, we'll go ahead and kind of set the, set the phone up here. So as you can see right now, it's searching for the SIM card, but we'll go ahead and select our language. Once you select your language, your region, um, and then we're going to do a quick start with setup manually. Click on that. Here we're going to go ahead and select your Wi-Fi. If you don't have a Wi-Fi, what you want to do is kind of connect it to iTunes on your laptop. So here I'll go ahead and um, select a Wi-Fi here. So once I select the Wi-Fi here, it will go ahead and take us to the next screen. So. As you can see, it take, it's saying it's going to take a few minutes to activate, but usually um, in 10, 20 seconds, it's just connecting to the Apple server. And once it does that, it will take us to the next component here. Um, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of videos on reviews and places where you can get the latest tech. So check out our other videos. Um, let's go ahead and kind of set this up quickly. So we're gonna hit continue on data and privacy and then the touch ID. So this is if you're looking to set up your touch ID. Um, to do that, you would just press your um, finger here multiple times and it will set your um, fingerprint. So keep on doing that. Here you go. And then the fingerprint will work. Here now you wanna enter a passcode. So the passcode has a couple options. Either you can do a custom alphanumerical code, custom numeric, or four digit pin, depend on how much security you want and how much hassle you want to and enter the enter in your lock screen. So here I'll just put a simple one. So this is a pretty simple one, but you know, that's just for demo purposes, but you don't want to want that comp like so here now it's the app and data so this is important if you have backed up your data from another iPhone this is a part where you would back it up or if you have iCloud backup you can back up your phone from the iCloud backup as well and there's an option for Android as well so whatever applies to you for our demo purposes we're not going to do any of that we're just going to skip that now it's the Apple ID so what iPhone if you guys are new to the iPhone they require you to have an Apple ID either you can go ahead and create one if you don't have one or forget password if you forgot your password but for our demo purposes we're just going to go ahead and skip it but this is important if you want to use Apple's features such as iMessage and you know download apps so you'll need this no matter what so either go ahead and create one or um, for our demo purposes we're just going to go ahead and show you guys how to skip this step we're just going to click on this um and then it's so it kind of here since we didn't enter anything it's asking that if we forgot our password if we want to need to create a new one if you want to create a new one obviously you would select create a new apple id for but our case it doesn't apply since we're doing a demo we'll just say set up later and we can set up later as well once you get into the home screen so we're not going to use right now Next thing is legal stuff, terms and conditions. Of course, you can read through it, have it send it to you by email, or just skip it. 
um, by agreeing it. So agree here, express settings here. So these are uh, default settings that they will apply. So we're gonna just say continue on the default one. But as you can see, if we go back, if you wanted to customize these settings, you can more than welcome to do that. But we're gonna hit continue keep your iPhone up to date. So this feature is if you want auto update your iOS. So as um, you know, time goes by, Apple always ups, updates their software. And if you want it to automatically do that, it will do it if you select this option. Or you can hit um, update manually. So it's all on your preference. We'll just go ahead and continue. Um, iMessage and uh, FaceTime. So these are the Apple's kind of flagship feature that Apple has on their iPhone, iMessage, and FaceTime. With iMessage and FaceTime, all you need is um, to be connected to Wi-Fi or data, and then you can use that. The thing about iMessage and FaceTime is that you don't need Apple, um, you don't need actually service to utilize these. You can just use, um, uh, just being connected to Wi-Fi, and you can use their services. So we're gonna hit continue here. Um, Siri, so this is Apple's voice assistant um, to set this up it'll ask us to kind of do five different commands for example i have to say hey siri um and then it'll read the next one hey siri send a message so this what is this this is doing is basically recording your voice so siri knows when you're the when you're calling it so hey siri how's the weather today hey siri how's the weather today Okay, didn't recognize. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. So it does these five commands to sh so that Siri knows when you're the one who's actually talking to it. So that's pretty cool to kind of um, get familiar with your voice. So we're gonna hit continue and then the next thing we get in proof Siri and um, dictation as you can, if you want to read this basically to help it associate you know all the information you can either do that or not do it so we're just gonna say not now screen time so this is like a weekly report that Apple generates for how much time you're on the screen that if you wanted to kind of know that you would want to continue with that so it continue here Apple so app analytics, um, so this will kind of help if you guys are sending um, bug and report that you're seeing with Apple. So it automatically, the apps will automatically send this information to Apple so they can better, f you know, develop application and send fixes for your phone. So it's all your preference. I usually don't share. Um, appearance to mode, you have the light mode and the dark mode. So all, you know, your preference again, whatever you want to do. So we'll hit the light and continue. Meet the new Apple home button. So this is the Apple's, um, you know, their proprietary home button that allows you to customize the pressure that you want to apply. So if I get started and test out these different pressure, um, I can select if I want the pressure to be, uh, you know, harder than normal. Usually one is the softest and three being the hardest. So we'll just go select the default one um zoom so this allows you to kind of make text bigger if you wanted to zoom in um and as you can see right now we're at welcome to apple so um as you can see right now we are right at the main screen so like i mentioned um if you are looking to set up your app um icloud and all that information you can go ahead and do that so as you can see in the setting it says finish setting up because we skipped some of the default stuff that's why it's giving us this message so hopefully this video helped you guys set up your new iphone or if you guys are switching and upgrading to the iphone 8 um this video should help make sure you hit the like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys